Hey everyone, welcome to a beginner's lesson for the 12 bar blues. So the 12 bar blues is one of the most iconic song forms in the world and in all of history. And it's a really simple song form and it's built off of three chords. It's built off the one chord, the four chord, and the five chord. And I'm just gonna walk you through each of these progressions and then I'll tell you a little pattern that you can use to uh, make it bluesy. Uh, I'm gonna play it in the key of C and the pattern goes like this. Okay, so that pattern is just based off this open fifth and it's popping between the fifth interval and the sixth interval. And you notice how I'm kind of giving it that doo -doo -doo -doo, kind of giving it that little bluesy shuffle swing. Okay, so that's gonna be over the one chord, over the four chord. So that's over F, and then the five chord, G. And I'm going to play along to the progression. I'll tell you what I'm changing the chords and just listen out for how familiar this sounds because so much music is written with these 12 bar blues. So here we go. So that's a really basic skeleton that your left hand can use to play the blues. Uh, that uh, sequence of chords happens over a 12 bar phrase, that's why they call it the 12 bar blues. And if you want to add some cool right hand something, you can actually get a long way with just playing kind of like an open octave thing. So I'm just playing C, G, and another C. And I'm just gonna go like this. So now you can build from that basic octave thing because it's, it's going to start to sound pretty insistent and unless you want that, you might want to find some ways to switch it up a little bit. One thing that I really like to do is play kind of the top two notes of a seventh chord. So my C7 contains the top two notes G and B flat and over that pattern you can start making some pretty bluesy sounding music of just So once you, you know, get used to playing the octaves over top of your left hand pattern, you can switch things up by playing the top two notes of a seventh chord. So allow me to explain here. When we're in the key of C and our, our chord's just on the one chord, play G and B flat, so the top two notes of a C7. So that sounds like that. If you wanna swap those notes when you switch to your, your four chord, play the top two notes of an F7 chord. So that's C and E flat.
And then finally, when we get back to our five chord, our G, we want to play the top two notes of the G7. So that's D and F. So that sounds like this. So the whole progression is going to sound like this now. So there you are. Now it's kind of sounding a little more bluesy. Uh, let's put a little turnaround on the final chord. So you're going to like this. You're going to go from that five chord. So that gives you this kind of like bo dum bo setting up again for the. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going from my five chord to my four chord, down to the one chord. And now I'm just gonna walk up from, in my bass hand, I'm gonna walk up F, F sharp, G. So. And if you wanna, you know, give yourself even more punch, you can go doo doo boom. So I'm going to go do do boom and then when I land my pinky on the bottom G, I'm just going to play a G7 chord in the right hand. So that progression is going to go. So now you have the basic elements to play a 12 bar blues. Starts there and it ends in some crazy smoky bar somewhere with you in a cool hat and sunglasses ripping around just like this.